Hello, New City Church. I missed seeing you guys on Sunday, but uh, I hope you were able to join us for our live stream. And we're going to do that again this Sunday, set your clocks, 1030, uh, live.newcity.family. I hope you can join us. Uh, and I wanted to share something with you real quick that I've been meditating on this week that's been encouraging to me. Uh, it's from Psalm 40, verses 1 through 3. I'll read this to you. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He drew me up from the pit of destruction, out of the miry bog, and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. So I've read this scripture many times, and I love this psalm. But this week, there's a few things that jumped out at me. Um, I waited patiently. What does it mean to wait patiently? I'm going to get kind of John Piper on you and write on my tablet here. But uh, it means that we stop. We meditate on his word. We remember who he is. We remember what he's done for us. Um, for David here, it says that he, he inclined to him and he heard his cry. Uh, David was crying out to him. So we pray. We let God know where we are and we ask for deliverance. Um, and we can do so with confidence that God hears the prayers of his people. Uh, it says that he drew him up from the pit of destruction out of the miry bog. So I don't think we have any bogs around here. I think that's kind of like a swamp, something, a really sticky place where your feet get stuck and you need help to get out. You're, you're stuck, right? Um, this situation that we're dealing with right now with uh, the coronavirus and a lot of us being uh, stuck it can be like that. And particularly there's... Um, some of us whose situations we feel stuck, but a lot of us, it's just our thoughts, right? Like um, fears of sickness, of people that we love uh, being affected. There's fears of joblessness, right? Um, worrying about what's whether we're going to have secure in employment. And I'm sure there's quite a few of us who have already gotten some bad news about that, whether it's just less work or no work at all. Um, and then there's loneliness. You know, uh, for some of us being sequestered at home, uh, not being able to go out to the gym or to the, the store, the normal things we do to be around people and to interact with people can become a really lonely place. So think of your friends, give them a call, encourage them. Um, but these are the kinds of things that we deal with. These are our miry bogs that we can be stuck in. And so it was encouraging to me this week to think that if I will wait patiently, if I will turn the Lord, he, he will hear my cry. He will deliver me. He'll put my feet on a rock, a solid place. He'll make my steps secure. So I'll, I'll get moving again and I won't fall back into it. And he'll put a new song in my mouth. Not a song of lament anymore, of worry, of concern, of crying out to God, but a song of praise, of, of deliverance, uh, a song of remembering who God was and what he has done for us in the past and knowing that he will do so again in the future. That's the hope that we have in our God. That's the reason that we sing. It says many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. It's a testimony to the greatness of our God that we as Christians are able to go through something like this uh, and not ignore the, the problems and pretend that there's nothing wrong, but to know beyond the shadow of a doubt that our God will come through. Uh, and we love him and we trust him. So that's been encouraging to me this week. I hope it's encouraging to you too. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys again in person real soon. But in the meantime, Sunday, 1030, see you online. God bless you. Er and est. What do I mean? Well, here's an example. I'll try not to laugh. There we go. Mrs. White is the oldest person in our class. That's true, isn't it? Mrs. White is older than Mr. Lee.
Well, that's true too. Why did I use est versus er? Well, let's look at some pictures I took at my house today. Look right here, I have two candles, a smaller candle and a larger candle. Here I have two teddy bears, a smaller teddy bear and a larger teddy bear. Here I have a picture of a child that is shorter than her mother. The mother is taller.